downstairs outside the basement of this house, and this is an enormous basement. It actually, square footage-wise, is about 3,400 square feet, which is a, a big basement, believe me. And what, where we are in the process now, they've just poured the floor and they're finishing it up. In fact, the guy behind me is using a power screeder. It's a, a power tool that's applying a finish. Now, you can see that the uh, concrete is firm enough at this point, it's set up just enough for him to be able to walk on the surface, but it's still soft enough for the power screeder to begin to finish it off, give it a nice, smooth finish. Now, between here and the garage upstairs, which is going to get poured next, there's a total of 48 yards of concrete going in here. Timing, of course, is, is essential in this operation. He couldn't have started that operation with a power screeder until the concrete was set up to the proper firmness for him to be able to walk on it. And they're using a combination of power tools and the good old hand tools, guys down on their knees, finishing, finishing it off with floats and edging trowels. It's a lot of work. It takes a lot of manpower. Let's go up to the uh, garage where they're about to start pouring the floor up there. And the material going down here in the garage is the exact same concrete mix that went down in the basement in the back of the house. And we're doing our pour in here. And you can see how many guys we've got working to get this out. Time is money with concrete, of course. You've got to get the material spread out. You've got to have the, the manpower. Now, the pour is obviously contained within the walls here. Now, you'll notice that down on the floor here where you would normally see rebar or a reinforcing mesh a screen, there is none. And this concrete contains this fiber reinforcing right in it. Now, they gave me a brochure describing the fiber, and i got to read it to you because I'll never remember this. This stuff has 100% virgin homopolymer polypropylene multi multi-filament fibers containing no reprocessed olefin. It's got stuff in it that serves the same purpose. These guys find it funny, too. It's got the, uh, the fiber in it, the exact same purpose as the metal reinforcing mesh, but it's all one unit contained in here. They'll screed it out, and this will be a beautiful flat surface when they're finished. <laughs> 